me that I'm joining them for lunch today. <laughs> and uh, at least Adam and I talked about that possibility. He knows that uh, I'm in town and that I'll be finished here uh, after the book signing. And so uh, if I have lunch in the White House mess, as it's called, uh, had a different meeting a year ago. <laughs> made 
made the most impression on him. That made it very easy for me to walk down the hall of my office and put together a first draft of a speech reflecting the decision he had just made. I would not have enjoyed being over in the EOB on the other end of a phone call saying the president wants a speech on agriculture and by the time I was in the White House I had already known the president for, uh, for eight years in the Senate and then all those years in the White House and uh, that I think makes quite a difference. I also am not a believer and I don't know if you're discussing this, do you? Your, your uh, conference here or not, I am not a believer in group authorship of a speech. I'm told that at the time of the campaign, I'm told that at times in the campaign, uh, when people become fatigued, and I can tell you there is nothing more physically exhausting than a presidential campaign, which is literally 24-7 for months. At the end of a long day, many, many, many appearances, the presidential candidate uh, goes to bed and he needs to get all the sleep he can. He's going to be ready in the morning. But the speechwriter stays up all night getting ready for the morning. And I used to go out on the trail uh, look for some car in the motorcade where I could curl up in the back while the speech was being delivered. I'd already heard the speech. You know. <laughs> so uh, I'm told that uh, during the Obama campaign, they, uh, the members of that brilliant team would sometimes assist or review or edit or contribute to uh, speeches where one or the other had the principal assignment that only one person can have the principal assignment and others can have I hope that answers your question. That's a very good question. Not surprising coming from the day. <laughs> <laughs> the song, There Is Nothing Like a Day. <laughs> but the, uh, on the other hand, it's an easy question. Of course, a leader must be able to communicate effectively, and effective communication is often very plain, simple, direct language, which some people say is not oratory if they are expecting, you know, long flights of soaring uh, phrases, with poetic and so on. I often say, that the best example of effective communication, and speechwriters can keep it in mind, were the words uttered by another European leader long ago, Winston Churchill, at the, when, the, when France fell to the Nazis. And he went on nationwide radio in England, and he began his statement with seven words. Very simple. The news from France is very bad. Said it all. 